Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is Ketul Patel and in this video we are going to see that how we can get a unique device ID or an Android ID of an Android device in Android Studio that can replace the usage of IMI number in Android 10. So let's start the video without wasting time. So as you all know that in Android 10 the security updates has been updated and the security level is enhanced and um, access the options like IMI, SIM number and all that we need a privilege permission that is only allowed to the system apps and if we access that and without a system app then it throws a security exceptions. So in this video I will show you that how you can use a Android ID that can almost replace a IMI number that will be unique for each device. So let's start the video. So here I am in Android Studio. So as you can see that uh, my compile SDK version is 29 that is Android 10 and my target version is also 20. So what first we need to do is let's go to our source file of our main activity and in the text view. Let's create a ID for that. So Android ID ID. So basically, this is where I will show the device ID so that you can know that how it looks. And now let's go to our Java file. Pretty. And over here, first we will be creating a string variable. Let's say device ID. And now in our on create method. Uh, we will be getting the Android ID or the device ID will be storing in the string. So let's access our device ID. So first of all, we also need our text view over here. Create the text view. Inside our on create method, we will get our text view ID your file so is equal to start with text view dot id dot and now what we will do is we will be getting our android id or device id and we'll be storing in our device id string device id equal to get that when you take the setting dot secure dot get string and here first we will get our content resolver so for we will be getting that content resolver for this context. So this dot get content resolver comma. Now we will get our Android ID. So for that setting dot secure dot So as you can see that these are all the things that we can access. So we are looking here for the Android ID. So here you can see that it is Android ID, but you can just look out on methods. Let's get the Android ID and we are all done. So now we have our unique Android ID that will not be changed even after you factory reset the phone. So uh, this can help you by uh, to restore the data again even the user factory data reset all the whole the 
even if the user reset the phone you can still find the device id as the same so now let's show this device id in our text view to show that tx dot that text and pass device id and let's sure that it should bring so this is all done this is so simple to get a android id even if you are like if your target is only android 10 and higher you can only use this and if your target is android 10 as well as the lower versions of android then what you can do is you can try to get the imi number and if you can uh, make a condition that if the api level is greater than or less than 29 then they will get the imi number and if it is greater than 29 greater than equal to 29 then it will get a device id or you can use device id for all the platforms so let's run this and let's check whether it is working properly or not or it is throwing a security exception so here you can see that i have an access by that is running on api 29 let's run on this device So, as you can see, that uh, this is the unique device ID uh, that we get from Android. That is the Android ID. So, basically, this never change. When if you reset the phone, factory data reset, then also it will remain same. So this was all about the video that how you can get the device id unique device id or android id and which can be used instead of imi number so if you are getting any error while doing this process just comment down below i will try to get back to you soon and if you like the video press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more of the tutorials thank you for watching